anyways you could probably see the lavalier mic but of course the audio has been all over the place so i'm basically trying to figure it out i'm trying to figure out the lighting as well but it's just one of those things uh but what i really want to get into which you know, I tend to say that a lot, but what I really want to talk about is one of those subjects that might be a little bit hard for uh, certain individuals to swallow because it's one of those that kind of places blame on a lot of different people. And the reason I say it places blame on a lot of different people is because people continue to entertain certain individuals when they know that certain individuals have did some more than shady things. Now, this whole video is about Gabriel Fernandez. For one, I wanted to talk about the fact that the social workers got off and that that's pure garbage right there. And that just goes to show you exactly where society is heading and why society moves the way it does. When it comes to children and, and, and abuse of children, it, for some reason, society tends to overlook it and not individuals as far as like people that are advocating against these particular individuals, but you got people uh, in, in different in different countries that are advocating, not not even in different countries. That's, I mean, they had a movement back in the days where they were trying to make it legal for uh, an older man to date uh, somebody that's way underage because they they feel like you know they even try to piggyback up off of the LGBTQ community in order to get certain laws to pass and it didn't work and now you see all these things as far as like you know kids dying left and right you had gabriel fernandez that right there was a, a gross uh I, I don't even have words for it it was just one of those things that you know that should have never happened but of course society continues to it continues to let it happen because they just had a kid not that long ago i think as far as like about a month back that died i think somewhere in texas same thing parents and then they just had another kid that died and his parents had something to do with it too it's just one of those things that i, I kind of find disturbing but not only did i want to talk about the fact that they've once again failed i also want to talk about the people that are are, are using the kids that have used the kid's name in order to I won't say uh, place yourself in a, I won't say place yourself in a different uh, position, but they used it to paint yourself as a different individual. One of the inv individuals in particular is trash. He's a PC and he used this kid's name in order to prepare himself into the spotlight. Before that, everybody knew this certain individual for being a piece of trash. And the simple fact that his charges were trash, but nobody really spoke about it because it seems like everybody just wanted to just, you know, push this particular individual to the back of everybody's mind. But now that this 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 individual is, is in the spotlight, and, I, and, and, and the thing that makes me the most frustrated is because this individual utilized a dead kid in order to put his channel on a different level. And now, instead of continuing, see, there's, there's, as far as like advocating for certain things, I can respect that when you're actually out there advocating certain things, but this individual cannot go nowhere. And when he does, he only shows like little glimpses of when he, when he pops up and then he's gone. A lot of times he did that video before, you know, before, before he even, he left before he even put the video out. But that's besides the point. The, the whole thing is like, there's me and a few other people, you know, had noticed that, that this individual used this, this kid's death in order to help itself get further uh, ahead in, in, on YouTube. And I think that is just disgusting. And at the end of the day, it's like when it comes down to, to YouTube and, and numbers and, and gaining views, there's really nothing wrong with utilizing certain techniques and, uh, you know, whatever you need in order to get you where you need to go. But using a kid in order to propel yourself into spotlight just continues to show how trash a lot of the individuals are. I chose not to speak up about Gabriel Fernandez just due to the fact that that's just something that's a sore subject for me. And not like it, it's, it's happened to anybody that I know in particular, but it's just one of those sore subjects because it's a kid. Now, individuals that are of age and you're out there doing certain things, then consequences are consequences. So if you happen to end up, you know, getting in a situation to where you lose your life if you're out there doing certain things and that's just the consequences of your action now a little kid that's got failed that had, that had got failed by the system numerous times they should have known for they should have known just just seeing him and, and just hearing things that 
that he, he was going through it but people chose to turn a blind eye and everybody that did turn a blind eye should be consequent that should suffer the same consequence i think they should all be placed in a situation so they all get the same that he got because it was it they failed him but you know that's that's nor here nor there because at the end of the day society will continue to do what they do because for some reason it seems like when it comes to kids they constantly fail you had a situation to where when we first went on lockdown for the COVID-19 you had the sheriffs you had the LAPD you had a lot of different law enforcement that were asking CPS if they could pop up and check on these certain families the ones that were known uh you know to 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 have a prior of abusing kids and not necessarily physically i mean physically in a sexual way but they were known for abusing their kids and they needed to be watched and cps told them no and like i said a lot of people are gonna come on here and they're like you know what when it comes to police officer i'm not advocating for nothing i've always said that a cop is gonna do what they're made to do and that's their job they're gonna try to lock up criminals and the criminals are going to try to run from them constantly it's a cat and mouse game and that's one thing i respected when when i was doing my thing it was a cat and mouse game it's fun cops pull up you run cops are you try to get away you driving and you're in a stolen car you, you try to get away that's the whole thing and then when you got busted you there was no there was no real love loss because it was just one of the things like okay i know what you're doing and you know what i'm doing maybe next time you won't catch me but you know that's just one of those things but it's just that, that it frustrates me and it frustrates a lot of people on youtube right now that have went through their that, that have did a lot of time got out changed their life around or they just went in a more positive manner and never once did we utilize a dead kid in order to propel our, our channel to to even greater numbers we will take the slow growth over anything but i just why well, i say that the blame lies on the individuals that continue to follow this certain individual which makes me think that some of the people that actually follow them I, I let me i take that back there's a lot of people that follow this particular channel because they believe that this certain individual is beyond it that he's changed his life and he went up and you know but then when you see all these other videos by him and understand i don't watch this individual's videos every every once in a while somebody will send me a video of this particular cat and i just shine it on but when I was told that this certain individual was using this dead kid in order in, in, in order to propel this channel even further, I decided to talk about it. And it's something that a lot of people need to sit down and, and, and search it in themselves and think about it. Like you're supporting a dude that has that has weird charges on his books. You know what I mean? He got weird charges. And everybody knows, dude, that that, you know, it, it was proven. And people tend to want to turn a blind eye, but yet you're the same people that are mad at the fact that, that CPS turned a blind eye. You're doing the same exact thing. The individual that you continue to follow is trash. You know what I mean? And not only because he folded, it's just the simple fact that he got out and didn't change anything. There's a lot of guys that I know that locked it up, but they're 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 in different different places and they turn and they and they turned their life around we can we cannot have a conversation because that's just the rules of the game you know what i mean and it's just as an individual i choose not to associate with any of these cats but i'm not going to downplay the fact uh, of a person trying to change his life around there's a lot of individuals that turn uh religious and, and chose to go another route in order to help them because they felt their calling simple fact that this this individual is using a, a kid that 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 suffered at the hands of of two terrible parents you know what i mean and not even and both of them weren't even parents but just two scumbag individuals that that really did a number on this particular kid and and it's just sad that he lost his life and now you have cats like this that are utilizing this kid's name and 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 and, and, and see it's one thing to speak on it now it's another thing to get on social media and promise that you would have something done when you can. I'm just gonna spell this out for the people that don't understand when it comes down to it at the end of the day, once you are trash, there's nothing you can do. There's nobody that's gonna listen to you outside of other trash and people that don't know uh, about certain things. But it's just one of those things, no individual that has folded can give you the justice that you're seeking. 
that's like me nothing there's no smut on me there's nothing i've never did nothing bad in the eyes of my homie so it's like and even then there's just certain things that's beyond us i'm gonna tell you one simple fact just because a lot of things in prison right now you got these trying to intermingle with s and y's and all this that don't mean at the end of this, some individuals still will not hit the main line they're still if they have to go to the hole look at charles manson he stayed in the hole you know what I'm saying? It's just it's just one of those things. Some people will continuously do things in order to stay in the hole because they know <coughs> if they were to ever hit the line, they forfeit their life. Now, there's a cold place in hell for these people. And I say cold because they're going to be dead like 20 times over. But that's just something that, you know, they'll, they'll have to take up with God. Like, we could get our justification. I mean, we can get our justice now. But... In the end, it doesn't. It, it won't really matter because that that will never that feeling of of feeling vindicated or it, it it will never come because you'll always think about the fact that they took a kid's life. Like I said, man, I don't wanna. I've already wasted. I won't even say waste. I've already talked about the subject too long. I didn't watch the movie. I mean, not even the movie. I didn't watch the the thing on Netflix because I. That's just something that I can't handle. And people may be like, "Oh, you know, this guy is weak," but it's not. When it comes to grown ups and people that have lived their life or are out there doing certain things, if you live your life a certain way, then you automatically forfeit it. So there's no real sympathy for me when you lose yours. The same way the way I live my life. If something was to happen to me, there's no real, there should be no real sympathy for me because I chose to live my life the way I live my the the way I lived my life. You know what I mean? So it's like one of those things that it's just it happens. But now for a kid to die the way he died, you know what I'm saying? It's like that's that's just one of the things that I didn't want to go into too much. And people had told me little snippets and bits and pieces, but I, I that's something that I just couldn't deal with, so I chose to avoid it. You know what I mean? So you know I may not get on camera and be able to tell you all the gory details. It's just something I'm not into. I'm not into seeing uh, children or women die. It's just it just you know it's just not my thing. Now if yeah, it's just not my thing. But all I'm going to say like this before I end the video, for the people that continues to support some of these trash bags on the internet that are no good, that give you these false promises of what they can have did, they can't. That's all I'm going to tell you on that. They can't because nobody is going to listen to them. You know what I mean? And a lot of these cats are on borrowed time themselves. You know what I mean? So, you know, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of your night. And hopefully people, you know, somehow or some way hold these people accountable the people that, that that got off hopefully people protest for that you know what i mean and really push on their doorstep the way they were doing with the cops you know what i mean nobody gets out of this you know what i mean nobody does what they did or let let things happen the way they happen and get away with it nobody <clears throat> excuse me nobody should go unscathed that's all i'm saying when it comes to that nobody should go unscathed and that's not being negative that's just a, a child was just it just sucks you know what i mean what happened to him and you know and these people should suffer the same consequence but i don't advocate violence so hopefully with that being said you guys enjoy the rest of your night and sorry this video was just so somber but it's just one of those things you know you get tired of hearing it you know what i mean and i'm sure there's supposed to be another homie that's supposed to talk about it uh, more extensive because he saw the he saw the netflix thing but that's all i'm gonna say on that man understand who you're supporting and understand that you know don't help these cats you know what i mean they're trash and they're always gonna be trash and if you ain't gonna turn your life around then you just wasted your time on that note i'm out